We revisit the South Texas distillery in Sandia, Texas. Now, as we reported last year, it was getting rave reviews for its two handcrafted vodkas, Wild Rag and Texas Torch. Well, since then, distiller Royal Aguilar has created a new flavor that has gained him international recognition. It's called Mesquite Bean Vodka, and it just won a silver medal in the San Diego International Spirit and Cocktail Competition. Aguilar entered his new vodka last fall and had forgotten about it until they received the news just a few weeks ago. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, when my wife told me about it, uh, it took a couple of days just for me to even uh, be able to even grasp that and get a handle on that. The South Texas Distillery will have been in business just two years this coming July. So winning a medal in a prestigious international competition is pretty satisfying. If I could tell you what the trick was, uh, I'd tell you, but I have no idea. All I know is that, you know, I do what we do and, um, you know, and it's, it's apparent that, you know, we're doing something right. After scoring big hits with his wild rag and Texas torch vodkas, Aguilar was looking for something really different. He considered prickly pears and jalapenos, but those had already been done. Uh, it took me a little while and I started thinking about it. And I, one day I just, out of the blues, I said, you know what, how about mesquite beans? And so I did some research on it, found out, you know, that, you know, they basically are edible and stuff like that. And they were just what he was looking for. Mesquite beans are about 25% sugar, which makes them ideal to ferment. No one else has used them, and there are a whole lot of mesquite trees here in South Texas. But getting permission to sell mesquite bean vodka was a task that took five long months. Since no one had ever made it before, that meant getting approval from various state and federal agencies. Fortunately, his wife Lupita is an attorney, so while he perfected the recipe, she handled all the paperwork. So we went first through, we had to go through the FDA, and that, that entailed quite a bit of research. And that included debunking some old wives' tales. So there's a lot of misconception out there with regard to whether or not this mesquite bean is something that people can consume, but the key to this uh, particular product is that you must harvest off the tree and not off the ground. And in addition to her legal expertise, Lupita is also pitched in to harvest the beans. We, we do it at a um, ranch in Benavides, the Paraiso Ranch, and all we do is get on a truck and pick them off the tree. Now what started as a hobby for Royale has turned into a seven day a week job for the Aguilars, but they're not complaining. They poured the slab for a new larger distillery to meet the growing demand for their vodkas. They've also expanded the tasting room for all the folks who show up to try out the vodka on the weekends. They've also got their own line of merchandise now and lots of new fans show up every week like first time customer Daniel Gutierrez. So I've been hearing a lot about this vodka, so I've decided to come by and pay a visit to it. You sampled all three, what do you think? Uh, I like the first one, uh, and I really do like the cinnamon. It's very tasty. So uh, I'm taking a couple for the weekend and see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> right, we're still waiting to hear back from him. Well, the tasting room at the distillery open every day except for Sundays. If you'd like more information about the hours, as well as a map of how to get there, we've posted links for you on our website, ChrisTV.com. Just look for this story.